All right, yo, what's going on, YouTube? It is your boy Q. I'm back again with another video for you guys. If you guys did not see the last video, I actually announced that I have a new schedule now. I'll be uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of every week. I'm back home in Chicago, so I'll be locked in and just able to get you guys a lot of content. I'm going to be working on a lot of new kits, and a lot of my future videos will actually be vocal templates, so stay tuned for that because I know a lot of you guys have been wondering how I mix my vocals for artists and just how I do some of my freestyles in my older videos. But anyways, before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know that any of the links that you will need will be in the description below all my social medias. I recommend you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's just where I stay most up to date. If you want to help support me and the channel, any of my sound kits, anything that you like that you see in this video will be available at my Drumify link, which will be in the description below, drumify.com slash producer slash Quentin dash Bobbit. Yeah, if you guys purchase anything off my Drumify link, that really helps support me and the channel and split mine as a team. So, but anyways, in today's video, it's a little, it's going to be something a little bit simple, a little bit short, and honestly, something that's pretty easy to do. A lot of people just might not know about it. Basically, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to get your 808s to sound like that YouTube producer sound that you might hear a lot of. You might hear this commonly in like Kyle Jr. beats or something like that. But in my opinion, it's one of my favorite sounds. The 808 just hits really hard and it just sounds really good and like perfectly distorted. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Right, so I got this sample picked out right here from my boy, I believe it's 808aden, 808aden. Um, but he did this with Lex and uh, the BPM is 170, so I'll just let you guys listen to that real quick. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is just drag this pattern in. I'm going to make it eight bars, and then we're just going to duplicate that over twice. And then we're just going to go to the channel rack. I'm going to be using my drum kit for the entirety of this video. It is called Euphoria, and like I said before, you can get that at drumify.com. Link will be in the description below. But before we get to the 808, we're going to actually just go ahead and make the drums, just get a nice bounce going. And when we're doing this bounce, something you're going to want to pay attention to, I notice a lot of times in these YouTube producer beats, Something they do is their sounds are super crispy. So I'm going to be looking for something that almost sounds kind of virtual sounding and just super, there's a lot of high end. Like for example, this clap has that little like that little shaker at the end that has a lot of high end in it and it just sounds crispy. And then another tip that I will mention right now is the hi-hat is actually super important when it comes to making your 808 hit a little harder. So if you use a spins 808, which we're going to be doing in this video, and you use the hit one hi-hat, which is this hi-hat right here in my kit called Clips, is basically just a hit one hi-hat, but um, I just fixed it up a little bit, made it sound a little bit cleaner and a little more sharp. But this hi-hat is just, it works super well with the spin, so that's what we're going to be using. So I'm just going to start with each, fill each two steps, and then we're going to go into the uh, effect panel right here and we're going to go to the miscellaneous functions and we're going to turn the shift knob up a little bit and what this does is just brings the hi-hat just a tiny bit off grid this adds a little bit of kind of like a humanized feature to it and then we're just going to go to the piano roll pull this open and i'm going to go to one sixth beat because i notice this is just very common in that youtube producer style and by the way in no way am i trying to like diss the youtube producer thing at all i like literally this is like my favorite sound which is exactly why i'm making this tutorial a little trick you could do is if you're in the one six step, you add just one I hit just right after another one. Kind of adds this little bounce, and I'm gonna bring the velocity down, but it it kind of adds this cool little bounce to it. Yeah, I'm pretty much just going to duplicate this over for the rest of the eight bars. I'm going to make that hi-hat pretty loud, so I'm just using this channel volume knob and bringing that up. The next thing we're going to do is just a snare pattern. So yeah, super basic snare pattern we're just going to stick with right here. And what I'm going to do is go into the piano roll, and we're just duplicating this over for the rest of the eight bars. Do this by hitting Control B. Then what you could do is, if you want to go to the next sound, for example, I'm selected on this snare right here, but I want to go to the next one. While I'm in the piano roll, if you hit K on your keyboard, it goes to the next sound. And you could hit G to go to the previous sound. 
basically these you could use G and K just to go up and down in the sounds that you have in your channel rack. We're gonna go down. Then I'm just gonna duplicate this snare pattern over as well. Then down again, and that over as well. And that is the snare pattern we're using. And you might have seen me panning these a little bit. I'm just using that just to kind of use as like a little bit of air candy, just so there's yeah, let's do a hi-hat now. And we're just gonna make it super simple just hit on the one and the three and then duplicate that over for the five and the seven and then yeah at this point i'm pretty much just moving on to the 808 so basically what we're gonna do here is in my kit i have this one called spin cycle which is basically i'm gonna show you guys exactly how i got this 808 to sound like this usually i would use this 808 for my kit but i'm gonna show you guys how i actually made it sound like this so if you just grab yourself a spins 808 which i have this old x or exo tour life drum kit with the default spins 808 this is what the waveform usually looks like Basically what I did is if you have FL Studio 20 or anything above, go in here and you just use this boost knob to bring it up. Basically does this. Then you go back to the effects target and you bring the out knob up. Then you get something sounding like this. Make sure you hit cut itself on the 808 just so they don't interact with each other. Might boost this a little bit more. Bring the out knob up a tad bit. There we go now i got something that i'm liking yeah so that's pretty much it right there that's basically how i get the 808 to sound like that so now we're just going to go through and make a pattern and the key here is a lot of people will try and do a little too much with the 808 and just go super crazy with the pattern kind of want to listen to the melody and if you really pay attention while well, you have the hi-hat the clap and the snare creating this bounce for you you'll start to hear where the 808 should hit so just follow what you hear in your head and also i'm going to be showing you guys how you can go about getting your 808s in key if you're using a sample and you don't have something like mixed in key or just anything to find the actual key. So basically what you could do here is go into the piano roll, add a note in, we're gonna make the velocity just about normal. We're gonna bring it up an octave. And I'm gonna actually solo the 808 and the sample. Basically what you do, you'd play this once. And I could already tell that C does not sound right with the sample. So I'm gonna bring it up a semitone by hitting shift up arrow. That doesn't sound right either. And I'm just gonna keep going through these notes until I hear something that sounds right. Yeah, so it's definitely this F sharp that just sounds the best out of any note. Cool, so actually what I'm gonna do is bring this out knob up just a tiny bit. But now basically for any sample you're using, for the majority, a lot of people make their samples in a minor scale. So what I usually do once I find that initial note that sounds good with the sample, I go to the tools or the uh, the view right here and I'll turn on the scale highlighting. I now know it's in F sharp minor. Actually, you know what? I think it's actually G now that I go back and listen to it a little more. Oh yeah, so I like this 808 pattern that I just came up with. So now what we do next is obviously that 808 is extremely loud, clipping really hard, but I just, I brought it up really loud just so I could hear it. But honestly, I don't know if you'll agree with me, but it, it almost sounds good. I mean, if you're listening on speakers with a sub, it might be a little blown out because it's like clipping really hard. But now what we're going to do here is I'm just going to bring it down a bit. Cool, yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much it with your 808. If you really want to push it and you like how it sounds like way up here, what you could do is when you bring the volume up, you could go ahead and add a fruity soft clipper on the actual 808. This will get the 808 to still hit really hard, but it'll bring the volume down a bit just so it's not actually peaking the decibel scale. I usually prefer to not use the Fruity Soft Clipper just because it kind of compresses it a little bit. There's definitely some situations where I do like it, but for this beat, I don't think I'm going to. And the next tip here is actually going to be with your hi-hat again. So I have this preset, which will be in my new kit called Full Circle, which should be out pretty soon. It's actually going to be a drum kit, a loop kit, 
a one shot kit. It's going to have a bunch of different presets in FL that you can use. And it's basically just going to be an all around producer kit that you can use for pretty much everything. Like I said, it's called Full Circle. It'll be coming out very, very soon. I just got to finish up the one shot kit. You guys will know as soon as that drops. But anyways, I have this hi hat preset that I use all the time in that kit. Basically, all it is is just this Effectrix preset where this is the part you'll probably hear in a lot of Kyle Jr. beats where there's like that reversed hi hat. Show you guys what it sounds like. I'm just going to turn the mix down a bit. And then there's some reverb in this preset as well. Just a pretty reverb. Mix turned way down. And EQ just pulling out some of that hi hat low end just in case. But I'm actually going to leave some of that in there just because it adds a little bit of warm distortion. Here's what the uh, drum bounce sounds like with this hi hat preset. You'll be able to hear the I had doing like this little reverse effect. And the last and final thing is basically going to be how you would go about mixing your kick into this. Because when the 808 is this loud, it's really hard to get that kick to sit right. So if we go into my drum kit right here, I have this kick in here called, use this one right here called Distro. Destro. And what we're going to do here is just route this to the mix track. I turned it all the way up. So I'm bringing it to mix track five. And then what I'm going to do here is just solo out the drums again. We're going to see if we can get that kick to sit right. But right now I'm just going to have it sit at C and you see how it sounds. As you can see, we have that kick hitting real hard. All right, cool. So that sounds pretty much perfect. But what I usually like to do is before I'm finished with it, I'll bring the kick from C maybe down to like A sharp. And actually, I like that a lot more. Maybe we'll bring it down to A. And with the kick, I'm actually not going to be following the 808 pattern completely. Just I'm only having three kicks compared to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different 808 hits. We're just going to duplicate that over four, eight bars. And boom. I'm thinking I'm actually going to turn this kick up just a tad bit more. I actually changed the kick from another one of my kick called steel. It's just hitting a little bit better. Sounds like this now. The last thing I'm going to do is just add a fruity reverb on this open hat and just bring that wet up a little bit and the decay, decay up. And I'm also going to turn this hi hat or the open hat up a lot. And this beat's finished. The, realistically, the only other thing I would do is duplicate this over again. Uh, I'd make this second part of the melody unique, and I'd bring it down an octave, just so we have a little transition. Kind of sounds like this. But yeah, and then I would just arrange it after that, and have some elements of the drums come in and out, and then just mess around with the melody a little bit more just arrange it how i want it to sound but i mean yeah that's pretty much it for the beat but yeah you guys will hear the finished beat how i arrange it and everything i'll play it at the very end of the video that's all i got for you guys right now thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy or learn anything at all hit that like button for me also make sure to subscribe because like more than 50 percent of you aren't even subscribed and i'm trying to change that up because i want you guys to really be engaged in this content yeah i just really want to build this youtube channel up and grow with you guys so let's do that i'm hoping i could hit 10k by my birthday which is june 30th coming up really soon so if we could do that make that happen share this video with a friend tell him to subscribe if he's interested in producing as always all my links are down in the description below instagram twitter drumify all that stuff my kits are always available at drumify.com but as for this video that's all i got so i will see you guys in the next one Deuces.